Hi guys, this is Blowjoes, and today I will be giving you a review of Kingdom Hearts Final Form Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2. This is a uh, very collectible figure, and I bought this off eBay. Uh, this is, uh, like I just stated, this is a collectible figure. This is one of the harder ones to get, apparently. I'm not too sure. I wasn't in the Kingdom Hearts game when uh, these figures came out. But uh, they kept the same box all across the line, which is nice. It's got this header up here that says Kingdom Hearts 2 Play Arts Action Figure. And there's a Kingdom Hearts logo here. And since I got this off eBay, this is the Japanese import version. So there's Japanese written underneath. And Kingdom Hearts Play Arts, Sora Final Form, and a bunch of stuff written about him. On the bottom of the side here, there's a little picture of Final Form Sora. And then on the back here, there's little pictures of Sora, Roxas, Kyrie, and Axel, which uh, I've reviewed three of the four of those figures. I haven't reviewed Kyrie because I don't own her, but uh, you can check out that review that's also under my name. Uh, and then, as you can see here, there's a picture of Sora holding Sleeping Lion and Hero's Crest Keyblades. A bunch of warnings and gibberish on the back there, and that's about it. So now I'll move on to the figure itself. Hi guys, this is Blowjos again. And I now have Sora out of the box here with both his keyblades. And I'm going to tell you right away, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, the swords are beautifully painted and beautifully sculpted, don't get me wrong. But because of the placement of the pegs on his hands, it is next to next to impossible to get him to hold these things. Hero's Crest, on the right here, is super tight, and it's, I can't actually stick the hole onto the peg in his hand, so I've just got his fingers basically wrapped around this keyblade so that it doesn't fall out of his hands, and then Sleeping Lion here has the exact opposite problem, the hole is way too big on the keyblade, so the keyblade is very loose in his hands, and yet again I've got his fingers holding the keyblade on basically. So that was the first disappointment. Now this one I can kind of blame on myself. Because I got this on eBay, uh, of course I'm probably not going to get the best quality possible directly from the company. But he's not even wearing his necklace. So obviously his necklace fell off somewhere and however it wasn't even in the box, the sealed package, his, his necklace wasn't even there. So my final form Sora does not have a necklace. Um, I only paid twenty dollars for this figure on eBay. With it was nineteen with free shipping. And uh, yeah, I gotta say this. I don't know. The paintwork on here isn't very well done. His eyes are kind of lopsided. For being a rare figure, uh, or for being um, a collectible figure, this just isn't done up to top-notch quality, you know. I just finished reviewing my Goku, which was not limited run or, or rare or anything. And it was only five dollars more, was three times the size of this figure, and was just all around much better. This figure does have a decent amount of articulation, but because of the weight of the Keyblades, you can't keep his arms up for very long without them falling back down. And it's just a lot of unfortunacies with this figure. Um, one thing that I do like that they kept, though, this is from Series 2. Uh, the other figures that I reviewed were from Series 1. The uh, chain on Hero's Crest is actual metal, which is nice. On, on Sleeping Lion, it's not, but that's okay, because it's a very intricate chain and needs to be made out of plastic. So, overall, this figure looks okay from a distance, and you know what, to be fair, this isn't a terrible figure, I've gotten much worse figures than this. The paintwork is still okay, but the fact that he's missing his necklace, the keyblades are difficult for him to handle, and the fact that his eyes are a little bit crooked kind of set me off. So in all fairness, this is a decent figure. It's nice to add to the collection, but uh, that's about all I got to say about him. Uh, if you can find them for the same price that I did, at the same quality, 
Uh, it's difficult to recommend them. I'd say try to see if you can get it in person so that you can pick out which which one you want. Because if you order it off the internet, you're not going to see your product before you get it. Which, in some cases, is really nice, but in other cases, it kind of stinks. So, yeah. Sculpt is okay and everything. It's just a lot of little disappointments lead up to big disappointments. So, that's all i got to say about them. Uh, if you want to see more Kingdom Hearts reviews, definitely check out my uh, Sora... Axel and Roxas review, which should probably be in the uh, similar videos to the right there. And uh, definitely check out my other action figures reviews. I just, I'm uploading right now, I'm uploading uh, my Bon Presto Sun Goku 15 inch scale figure review. And I was just blown away by that piece, so that's about all I gotta say. Uh, Till next time, uh, keep collecting whatever it is you collect whether it be action figures, Bionicle, or anime, or Transformers, anything. Keep collecting it, because it's a good hobby to have. So, anyway, I'll talk to you later. This is Blowjo signing out.